Now let's turn to the sequencer. Well, the XP80 contains a very sophisticated sequencer, as powerful as any software-based system. It's based around 16 phrase tracks, and each of these tracks can be thought of as very similar to tape recorder audio tracks. However, in addition to the phrase tracks, we also have pattern memories in which we can record. Some people prefer to work with patterns, and once these patterns have been created, they can be changed together to form the song. We also have a beat track, which allows us to determine the time signature of each bar or measure within the song, and a tempo track, which allows us to make discrete tempo changes to the music during the song. The display will change and shows us an internal song 00. This is the name of the currently selected song. It's blank. But before I show you how to build up your own musical composition, we're going to take a quick look at the demonstration disc that came with the XP80. Now this contains a range of different file types, so I want to explain exactly what they're all about. As soon as you insert the disc into the drive, the disc name will appear in the top right-hand corner of the display next to the floppy disk icon. We can call up a directory of available files by pressing the disk button. Under menu 3 we see info, information, confirm that by pressing enter. And we are told that there are 21 song files, no sound files, one chain file, one groove file. Okay, well what are song files? Songs are the basic musical compositions that you've recorded on the sequencer and saved. Sound files contain information relating to the patch, performance and system settings used. The chain file contains information relating to how songs are changed together for performance, much like programming favorite track selection on a CD player. And then we have the groove files. It's possible to take little chunks of songs and use them to create quantized templates. We can then store these independently of the song for later use. Now, we have 21 files plus 1 plus 1. That makes 23. The total here shows 24 files. Well, there's one extra file which is used by the XP80, which is not accessible to us. OK. Well, F6 shows list. We can take a closer look at the available files. Press song, and we see a complete listing of all the song files available. The XP80 uses its own song format called MRC Pro, but it's also compatible with MIDI file song format and the older Super MRC format as used by Roland MC500, MC50 and MC50 Mark II sequencers. So it's backwardly compatible. Here we see file. This allows us to view the other types of file that don't happen to be song files. Okay, well let's try loading up some of the songs from the demo disk. 